Did you know that, that Takata was Hulk Hogan's young boy? No. You didn't know that? What? Oh, no, that's you really guys didn't cool. know this? Let's preview what happened. Okay. No. Okay. I, I, just, I know this because years later, so I'm, I'm thinking this is mid-90s, right? When okay. Takata's big now. Okay. And Hogan yeah. goes back to Japan. Yeah. He had, and he, because, he, because of the WWF Championship, he hadn't gone probably in seven yeah. years. <laughs> so he goes there, and he, the first thing he sees is a magazine. It's Takata on the cover. And he looks, and he goes, oh, my God. You know, Takata, you know, yeah. and, and, and then he goes, oh, my God, the business must be terrible now. Wow. <laughs> the business was through the roof. So the good. Like yeah, yeah, yeah but, he, but he, you know, he just saw him as this, you know, 17, 19 year old kid. Wow. Dave and I had a conversation last night. Uh, I'm a huge Muhammad Ali fan, right? We were talking about how Dusty got his style from Superstar, who got his style from Ali, who got his style from Gorgeous George. And, and, and Dave had a very interesting twist on that story. Yes. This so, is awesome. Because because a lot of people, people who were friends of Blassie have always said that it was Blassie, not Gorgeous George. And and so I had always heard it was Blassie. And then in 76, in when Ali toured with, with Blassie as his manager mm -hmm. before the Inoki match, mm -hmm. he would do interviews and say, yeah, I learned how to do my interviews from Fred Blassie. But before he always said it was Gorgeous George. And then after, he went back to saying it was Gorgeous George. But for that one year, he would always say it was Fred Blassie. So, but all the Blassie fans would always go, it was, it was really Blassie. And, and he got mixed up. And some people, because Blassie worked Louisville. And George may have as well, but Blassie did for sure mm -hmm. when he was a kid. But then later, we, we found out that he said that where he got inspired was he was early in his boxing career. He had won the Olympic gold medal. And he was boxing in Vegas on, let's say he was on a, fr on a Friday night and the wrestling was on a Saturday mm -hmm. or whatever. So they're all in town together. And he said it was a, a gorgeous George match in Las Vegas. So, um, and he was doing a thing. And then other people said, no, no, it was a blast. It was a blasty match. Well, it turns out when I investigated, because I, I was looking at like the, the matches he had in Vegas and what wrestling was that same weekend. Mm -hmm. And it was a main event of Fred Blassie against Gorgeous George. <laughs> Adrian Adonis's world title in, in, in San Texas. Antonio. I was there. <laughs> Jesus, this is amazing. I was All in right. San Antonio that night. Adrian Adonis's touring world champions should have been so good. What happened? What? I guess obviously it didn't draw. Like, was that a Paul Bosch show? Or no, 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 no. It was Joe Blanchard running Joe against Blanchard. Paul Bosch. They ran, head, they ran head to head. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, the Joe Blanchard show would have been the night before the Paul Bosch show because okay. I went to two of them. And one had an NWA title. No, 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 no. It was Friday Saturday, so it would have been Paul Bosch was first. Paul Bosch. Paul Bosch had an, had a WWF and AWA title. We didn't have NWA. Wow. So two world titles on the so same show. So it was Nick Bockwinkle against Dusty and Bob Backlund against Afa, which was terrible. I mean, it was just. <laughs> I, 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 he said it, not Paul, me. Paul, Paul, Paul. <laughs> 